What's up, it's Cinema Shogun here, and today is Monday, July 10th. And at the time of this recording, which is around 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, there are still no charges for Rudy's mom. In fact, not only are there no charges for Rudy's mom, Rudy's mom is out here riding around emboldened by the fact that there are no charges against her yet. Rudy's mom is so, I don't know if it's bold or just, she's just completely delusional. We know she's insane, but this lady had the audacity. Not, not only is she not facing charges, it looks as if she's trying to file a police report against someone or maybe even a group of people, I don't know. I'm still trying to figure out the full details. But last night, Rudy's mom was at the police department. Now, I saw this and I immediately was like, yes, yes, they're questioning Rudy's mom again. They're gonna bring her in. We're gonna wake up Monday morning. Rudy's mom's gonna be in jail. Finally, finally, after all of these years, someone, finally holds this psychotic woman accountable. But no, Rudy's mom, in the middle of all of this, when she should be afraid for her future, she should be afraid that her freedom is going to be snatched away at any moment. No, Rudy's mom, through all of this, went down to the police station to file a police report on someone. The audacity of this woman, but it shows you. It shows you just how bold she is. And I'm trying to figure out, this is what I'm trying to figure out. Is this woman just completely delusional, which we know she is? Is she emboldened by the lack of action over the years? Or does she have some type of confidence for some unknown reason does she have confidence that nothing's going to happen to her? Because in my mind, judging by everything that is going on right now, looking at everything that is getting exposed, looking at the media coverage, every day there's interviews with more people that say, you are lying about this. Your scams are getting uncovered every day. Where do you find the confidence to march down to the police department to try to get someone else in trouble? You know what I mean? Where do you find this confidence? I hope the police department isn't giving you this confidence. You know what I mean? I don't want to elaborate too much, but I think you know what I mean. But this is where we're at. No charges. Rudy is with some friend of the mother's. And now Rudy's mom is like, you know what? I'm coming after y'all. She thinks she's invincible. She's gone through all of these years with no one holding her accountable. And like I said, you know, I can't reiterate everything this woman's done. If you've seen the videos or you followed the story, you already know. But she has a lengthy rap sheet of what I believe is illegal behavior, at the very least, like illegal activities over the last more than eight years. And there's just this, this web of lies that's really hard to try to dig through. But for her to, for her to have the confidence to march down to the police department in the middle of all of this, trying to get someone else in trouble, it shows you that either this woman's just super crazy and emboldened by the fact that the police department has never done anything to hold her accountable, or she has a confidence, she has confidence that nothing's going to happen to her for a reason. I'm hoping that she's just delusional and emboldened by the police's lack of action over the years. I'm hoping that she's just emboldened 
by the fact that she's never really been held accountable for anything. I'm hoping that she doesn't have confidence for a reason. But I don't know what's happening here. I'm thinking that maybe she's trying to file a report on the neighbors. I know there's one woman, um, I think it's Grizzly Hood News, who's been really close to this story out in Houston. And she went out into the back area behind Rudy's house and found this area where Rudy would have to hide, I guess, when police or family members would show up at the house. Rudy would run into the back woods behind the house and he had like this whole little chill area back there. I'm going to show you this clip of what she found and then I'll be right back with more thoughts. So this is directly behind Rudy Farias's home. Um, part of what we suspect is that when his family would come by, Rudy was made to come back here into the woods. And there is, you know, while, while she would prepare and, and hide any evidence of him still living there, while the aunts waited outside, because they'd come to check on their mother who Janie had. And so he was made to come back here, according to a lot of, you know, the people we've talked to. And you can see like signs like big hands. You can see uh, cranberry juice, just like even takeout, uh, rotisserie chicken. Really, really crazy stuff. Oh, no, let's see. All the trash, pee buckets too. We, we saw some pee buckets. It's very sad, man. Cans. Man, I guess she was sending him back here every time family members came by. There's little bricks right there you could sit on. A little cooler over there. You can see everything. Look. Look, rotisserie chicken. Like, hey, go eat outside. A lot of... All right, I'm gonna slow this down. Do you guys see that car right there? Somebody came and picked it up after I left and I came back to show you guys. All right, I just had to hurry back up and come over here because Janie was just here a while ago and somebody picked up that uh, car that was always sitting here. And you can see that car in all the press conferences and stuff. There was a, a, I guess like a Toyota car. It was sitting here in the driveway. Well, while after I finished leaving here, what a coincidence, somebody came by and picked up the car. I don't know if they're selling it now, scrambling around trying to figure out what to do next, what's the best move, flee the scene, whatever. Man, that is just so crazy, friends. So I don't know for a fact that all of the items that are out there, you know, in the back of Rudy's house, I don't know if all of those items belong to Rudy. We could assume they do. But at the very least, it looks like Rudy, you know, had this little chill spot in the woods that he would go hide out at when people would come. So that would, that kind of lines up with the reports from 2018 that Rudy was seen behind a family member's home. And I'm really wondering why the reports from 2018 were worded like that. I think they should just say that Rudy was spotted behind his mom's house. 
But no, they said that Rudy was spotted behind a family home. And they didn't even say that it was Rudy's family. Um, you know, like it didn't specify that it was Rudy's family. You kind of had to read between the lines. So the reporting on this whole story has been weird as well. Everything about this entire situation has been weird. I'm hoping that Rudy's mom wasn't down there trying to get Grizzy in trouble. Um, Grizzy, I think, has the right to go into the woods behind someone's house. That's not, you know, Rudy's mom's property. So I don't think Grizzy did anything wrong. And I think she's been doing a good job keeping up with this story. At the same time, though, I'm really worried for her because I, I, I felt it from day one that I feel like Rudy's mom is really capable of doing anything. And I think she's proven that. I think she's proven that she's really crazy. And when you when you corner someone in like Rudy's mom and you put their backs against the wall, there's no telling what they're willing to do. And it's obvious, like I told you all from the get-go, that Rudy's mom isn't willing to let go of this lie so quickly. Rudy's mom's whole life is based around lies and fake profiles and fake stories that she has crafted and worked hard on over the years. You know how sometimes a scientist, they don't want to part ways with their experiment. They don't want to give up on their experiment or their creation. You know how a, a, an entertainer or a, a creator, you, you like to stick by your work. Well, Rudy's mom, Rudy's mom's piece of work that she has crafted over the years, what she is leaving behind to the world is just this intricate web of lies and fake profiles, a fake life. And she's not going to give that up easily. And I do think that she will do anything. She's capable of doing anything. The problem is, right now, she's not being held accountable. Right now, it doesn't look like she's going to be held accountable. So right now, she probably doesn't feel as desperate as she may have felt a few days ago. But someone like Rudy's mom, when feeling desperate and their backs are against the wall, they will lash out and they will do anything. So I just want people to be careful when they place themselves in situations that are close to this woman. Okay, because for one, we already know that the Houston Police Department, for some reason, they don't want to really get involved in this story. It seems like they've had a lack of interest in this story from day one for whatever reason. So if something happens to you, I don't have the faith in the Houston Police Department that they would make sure that you get proper justice if something happens, if Rudy's mom does something to someone. Also, I just feel like anyone that's around this woman is in danger at this point. And I think that that's a safe thing to assume considering what we know about this woman at this point. But as of right now, I just wanted to update you all about what's going on here. There's no huge updates in the story. Every day we're uncovering more stuff about the mother. And as of right now, no charges. The mom's riding around, chilling, and literally trying to get other people arrested because she's that bold. It is what it is though. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. While you're down there, hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe, ring that notification bell, and I'll talk to you all in the next video.